go. Good morning, Double R Radio, 847. Uh, Friday morning, Freeform Friday at its very, very best. Anyways, uh, 76 degrees happening right now in San Antonio. Partly cloudy skies. No rain in the forecast for the next 985 years. That's a long time. Yes, it is. There we go. I think we got over here. We're good to go. We're good to go. I think we're all good to go. Here we go. Let's go live. There we go. Good morning, Double R Radio. Lady Gaga, rain on me. I got to be careful with that, porque, you know, uh, playing rainy day music, saying rain on me, brings on the rain. Nobody wants rain on the weekend. Nobody does. I got to tell you, man, I, I got a game plan this weekend. Um, I plan on making a brisket tomorrow. Um, and um, I know briskets can be a little pricey, so I think what I'm going to do to try to save a buck um, I have options. I found out that there are certain stores out there where, you know, sometimes people don't have enough money to make a brisket. So, like me. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look into, they say they got kangaroo brisket. Woohoo! Half the cost and just as tender. So, I may do that. I may go after kangaroo meat. Might do it. Also, another option. They have Horse meat, where I can make a brisket out of horse meat. There we go. My only problem with horse meat is if I eat horse meat, after that, I may want to go to the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. No, no that, was, that wasn't funny. <clears throat> I got you. I got you. But I, I am contemplating using horse meat, kangaroo meat, also rabbit brisket. Man, how big is that brisket gonna be? Right, a little baby brisket. There we go for my grandbaby. There we go, Mika. There, rabbit brisket. There we go. No, there won't be no Easter bunny this year. No, no Easter bunny. No, no. But you, you can have the Easter bunny, but there'll be no Easter bunny this year, Mika. There we go. <laughs> All right, rabbit brisket. I don't think that's gonna fill me up whatsoever. Good morning, shout out good to Tony Rivas. He said, good morning, primo. Good morning, primo. How we doing, Tony? There we go. Also, good morning, shout out going out to my Colorado brother. Good morning. He said, a cool, clear, man, 40 degrees in Colorado, man. I want some of that. Send some of that over here, amigo. 40 degrees in colorado man talk about a beautiful morning right that's the kind of weather i like good morning shout out get out to mary gonzalez he said good morning roberto good morning maria there we go anyways i tell you what i was mentioning some of these silly police stories silly police calls and we'll talk a little bit more about them you know this one here man this one here cracked me up check this out uh, a woman on the road on her road, on the road that she lives in, said two people were in her backyard cutting her marijuana plants. <laughs> what are you doing growing marijuana? Right? And she's calling the cops. Hey, guys, I got a couple of guys back here, man. They're cutting my marijuana plants. Come get them. Right? What are you doing growing marijuana plants and then calling the police saying, Hey, I need help. They're stealing my illegal marijuana plants. There we go. Uh, here we go. Another one. Um, a woman told police that uh, uh, she received a Christmas. Uh, what, you know what? I can't even read that one. Forget that one. Let's let's move on here. There we go. Um, we'll go with this one right here. Uh, police looking for a man who tried to rob a Wendy's while wearing a plastic bag over his head. Uh, police claimed that uh, while the man was wearing a plastic bag over his head, I mean, not only could they not see him, he couldn't see out either. He kept on hitting the walls and everything till finally the police showed up and took out the plastic bag and took him to jail. There we go. Why would you do that? I don't get that. I really, really don't. Let's do a couple more here. Now, here we go. Um, another 911 call reported a large snapping turtle in the roadway. The turtle fled the area <laughs> undetected. <laughs> How slow can turtles be for the cops to show up and the turtle made a getaway? Really? Come on, por favor. Please. I mean, 
The turtle made a getaway. There we go. Let me see here. Let me see if I can find a couple more here. Don't want to miss anybody here. Let's get back over here. There we go. Good morning, Chad. Good up to Primo. Roger Rivas. was good morning, Primo. How we doing? Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Good morning, Bonnie Lopez. He said, good morning from Evat, Texas, 76 degrees. Beautiful morning. Yes, it is, Bonnie. Every morning that we wake up, we're blessed to a beautiful morning, right? They're all beautiful. Good morning, Chad. I'm going to have the double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, amiga. Let me see if I can find a couple more here before I move on. Let me see here. We'll go right over here. We're going to go right over here. We'll go right there. If I can find a couple more, we'll be good. If not, so be it. We'll leave it alone for right now. I tell you what, I want to talk about this. You know, I've talked about this before to where, um, no, I don't want nothing to do with that. There we go. I've talked about this before to where, um, doing the Uber thing, I pick up, it seems that I pick up a lot of employees from fast food restaurants. No lie, man. All over. Jack in the Box, Wendy's, McDonald's, blah, 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 KFC. Everywhere, canes, everywhere. It doesn't matter, man. I pick up a lot of employees from fast food restaurants, and I always ask the same question. How do you like working there? Some like it, some don't. I picked up an employee from McDonald's yesterday. She was all bent out of shape that she didn't like her manager. She was going to quit and stuff like that. I hear it all. I really, really do. But what I want to do right now, I'm going to give you all the top. Uh, we'll go with the top 20. The top 20. Fast food chains in America, the top 20, and let's see if I nail one of your favorite fast food restaurants where you like going to. Let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody. Let's get back over here. There we go. I think we're all good to go. Let me get some coffee here. Let me get some energy so I can go and give you the top 20, okay? Good stuff. Here we go. Let's just do it. The top 20 fast food restaurants. Here we go. Number 20, Jack in the Box. I love Jack in the Box. What would I do without Jack in the Box? You know, it's a done deal. Gotta have them. I don't care, man. If I go to Jack in the Box, I can, I can be going over there for a hamburger. I've got to get two tacos. Gotta get them. It doesn't matter. I may not even be hungry. And I'm passing by Jack in the Box. Up, oh, gotta get two tacos. Really, man, those jack-in-the-box tacos, man, there's something about them. Now, if, have you ever tried opening it up to see what the hell's in there? Don't do it. You don't want to know. You look and you go, something gooey, something gummy, something something weird's in there. But it tastes good. That's all I care about. So there we go. Number 20, jack-in-the-box. Number 19, Popeye's fried chicken. You know, Popeye's, there was a lot of people fighting over their chicken sandwich. No lie, man. I've always said Popeye's reminds me of that saying, I want more cluck for my buck. And that's true. It really, really is. I know Popeye's is cool. I just had Popeye's Monday. I went to Popeye's and got the four-piece fries and the soda for uh, eight ninety nine. There we go. Number 18, Dairy Queen. You know, um, I hardly go to Dairy Queen. I don't know why. I got nothing against Dairy Queen. I don't know what it is. I just hardly go to Dairy Queen. I just know one thing about Dairy Queen, at least here in South Texas. Any small little town you go to, I don't care what town it is, the smaller the better. Any small town you go to here in Texas, you'll find a Dairy Queen. <laughs> They're there, man. All the small little towns, I think that's how they survive. Number 17, Panda Express. You know, um, I haven't been to Panda Express. Uh, geez, I cannot remember the last time. I'm not, I love Chinese food, but I think they're a little bit overpriced. Um, I don't know. I got nothing against Panda Express, but it is what it is. Number 16, Little Caesars. Now, Little Caesars Pizza, I'm not a big fan of whatsoever. I haven't had a Little Caesars pizza in a long, long, long time. There's a joke that goes, what do Mexicanos use to cut their pizza? Little Caesars. Eh, that wasn't funny, right? Not funny whatsoever. I got you. Number 15, Arby's. I've just gotten back into the Arby's thing. I really, really have. I like Arby's. They got the deal two for six. You get two roast beef sandwiches with cheese for six dollars. Sounds like a deal to me. There we go. Let me forward, move forward. Don't want to miss anybody. There we go. Good morning, Chad. I got to Linda M. Reina. Good morning, Linda. How are we doing? Let's get back to the rankings. Now, number 14, Sonic Drive-In. You know, um, 
that's another place I hardly ever go to, Sonic Drive-In. I don't know. The one by my house closed down. I've seen two or three others out there when I'm driving around. Same thing. Uh, Sonics are far and few here in San Antonio. Let me just say that. Okay, number 13, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I like KFC. They're okay. But usually, now they got KFC Taco Bell together. So I'll say, let me have that two-piece fries and a soda. Two tacos, please, and one burrito. There we go. A combo. Yes, yes, we, yes. Ole. Uh-huh. There we go. So KFC Taco Bells, you see them all together. Number 13. Nope. Number 12. Pizza Hut. I just went to Pizza Hut yesterday. Um, how about the pizza? They got some pretty good deals. Large three-topping pizza, $9.99. Can't go wrong with that. Number 11, Chipotle. You know, uh, Chipotle, I'm not a big fan of whatsoever. I, I really do not care for Chipotle. It's okay, I guess, but I don't get it. I, a big burrito, I don't get it. Everything's cold on the inside. I don't get it. Number 10, Panera Bread. I've never been there. Never been to Panera Bread. I know nothing about it. I just know they're popular. Number nine, Domino's Pizza. I like Domino's Pizza. I like their wings. They got some pretty good wings there. Domino's Pizza. Number eight, I didn't know that they could make this right here. Number eight, Dunkin' Donuts. What the hell is this? What is this doing there? They're donuts. But they also have like little breakfast croissants and stuff like that, right? Dunkin' Donuts at number eight. Number seven, Wendy's. I hate Wendy's. I really do, man. I hate Wendy's. You know, I get a kick out of Wendy's because they put a big poster in front of their, their, their window. Get a burger, fry and a soda, and that burger looks really big on the poster. When you go inside and order the burger, a hey, little baby. Baby burger. And I said, hey, man, this doesn't look like that one over there. <laughs> it doesn't look like that one over there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Starting trouble. Number six, Subway. Five, right? Five dollar foot long. There we go. I haven't been to Subway in a long time. I used to go there all the time. I just haven't been there in a long, 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 long time. How much time do I got? I got some time here. Number four. No, what is that? Five. I said that was number five. That was number six. Number five. Burger King. You know what? Burger King has earned my respect. Burger King has gotten pretty good and very reasonable. I can get a double Whopper with cheese, fries in the soda. Big burger. Double Whopper with cheese, fries in the soda for $8.29. That's a heck of a deal right there. Number four, Taco Bell. I just talked about it. Taco Bell and KFC, they partnered up. They're buddies. Now, there is a joke that goes, have you heard about the new Mexican telephone company? No. It's called Taco Bell. Nah, that wasn't funny either. Gotcha. Number three, Chick-fil-A. You know, this place, Chick-fil-A, it doesn't matter where I pass it up. There's lines and lines and lines of cars. I don't get it. I've been to Chick-fil-A. Simple, plain chicken sandwich, and people love it. I'm not lying to you, man. I've seen lines of cars day and night. It doesn't matter. There's always cars at Chick-fil-A. And mind you, they're closed on Sundays. There we go. Number two, Starbucks. You know, I've never been to Starbucks in my life. I took my daughter there one time, but I waited outside. I've never had a Starbucks coffee in my entire life. That's true. It really, really is. If I, you know, I usually make my own coffee, but if I got to settle, I'll just settle for Valero. I'll take a Valero coffee. There we go. And the number one fast food restaurant, man, still the champion, McDonald's. <laughs> How do they do it, man? The little puny burgers. How do they do it? I love their French fries. Love their French fries. Love their high C soda, orange soda. That's good stuff, too. You know, no lie, man, when I was really, really sick, um, I'll never forget. I knew I came down with COVID in December, but when I was really sick, I knew I was sick when I bought a filet of fish and I left it all there. I love their filet of fish, but I left it all there. I was just sicky. I was sicky and I had no taste buds, no nothing and no urges whatsoever. Well, actually, I did get one urge, but we're not going to go there right now. This is a family show. Anyways, Freeform Friday. Let's keep it going. Modern English. 
How we doing, everybody? Here we are, Friday morning, um, August the 27th, 2021. Well, anyway, the weekend is upon us, at least here in San Antonio. No rain in the forecast, which means that, uh, hey, it's all good. You know, some little outdoor activities, whatever the case, only it's going to be hot. So, look, uh, prepare yourself. Plenty of water and Gatorade. Let's get back to Freeform Friday right now playing Modern English. Good morning. Got to hit a couple of buttons. Got to hit that button right over there. We're going to hit that button right over here, over here. There we go. There we go. Good morning, Chad. Ramon Rivas. He said, good morning, Robert. Good morning, Ramon. How we doing, brother? There we go. Also, good morning, Chara Mr. Fito Riojas. How you doing, Fito? <laughs> Fito in la casa. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. RobertRivasRadio.com. Join me now. Orale.